Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today we have a more simple kind of laid back how to instructional video for you guys. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. I haven't made very many of these and I feel like they could be really helpful for some of you guys who really really struggle with decorating and you just need someone to tell you exactly what to do. I am here for you today. So we're going to be building as you saw in the thumbnail. It's like a little reindeer stable. It's Christmassy but more low-key because my island is a fairy court island and I can't really rock the bright green and red because it doesn't really match so I kind of am going with like a more subdued pink and white Christmassy theme on my island personally and I'll give you some tips on how to cater it you know towards your island theme but yeah if you would like to know how to build this then just keep watching you don't even have to do anything how great is that okay so the area that we are going to be building it in kind of is this area where my campsite used to be um while i clear this out let me just tell you the items that you're gonna need it's really not very many thankfully so first you're gonna need four simple panels two tables two stalls two sleighs one big festive tree one stool one snow globe flowers of your choice, straw fencing, and holly bushes. Now this is very customizable. Um, you can use any custom designs of your choosing for like the simple panels, but I will show you which ones I want to use for the tables. I just put two tables. You can use any tables that you want. You could use like a longer table or two smaller ones. Um, again any color stall that you want you can color the sleighs however you want the festive tree i made mine pink to match with fairy court but of course you can make it any color that you want your stool can be any type of stool there's a bunch of stools i just used a wooden one your snow globe not really customizable so uh, i kind of stuck there flowers of course i put any of your choice straw fencing you don't have to use straw fencing but i do think it gives it more of like a farm farm kind of vibe and the holly bushes I also think are essential to the vibe. But if you were doing this for cottagecore for example, I would make your wooden items like the tables and the stalls and the sleighs dark brown or at least a brown color. That would really help with the cottagecore vibe. If you're doing like kid core, I would suggest doing just like the brightest color that they have. I'm not sure what that would be, but just do like all your crazy colors and of course go crazy with the flower colors. And if you're not really going for a theme, you can just kind of do whatever you want, <laughs> whatever works on your island. So another thing that I did was I got a very specific villager's house because I wanted the look of like a little log cabin where the owners live. So I got Candy and she has this adorable pink log cabin house and I thought it was just perfect for my fairy core island. So once you have your house or you don't even have to use a house, you can just build this wherever, but First, you're going to start by putting down your stalls. It would probably look better with a roof like pattern, but I just use my leaf path. I just use the, the middle piece of it and I'll have my code video with that code in the description. And then you're going to get your simple panels and customize them with the reindeer code. I will put that in the description and you're just going to want to push that into the simple panel gap and kind of push it. Um, like one, one little push inside, so it's kind of sticking inside. And it kind of gives it the illusion that they're like inside a barn or whatever. <laughs> so just go ahead and put those two down. And then you're gonna wanna get your simple panels with your quote unquote door. Now this looks kind of weird, but I saw this pattern and I fell in love with it. So it might look better with like white barn doors, but I just love this, these little flowers. So that's what I went with. Then we need stuff to cover like the second set of those bottom reindeer. So I got some tables and you're just going to push them on in front. And then I'm also going to put some little accessories to make it look like they're eating some fruit and drinking some water. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down a hay bale because that's like, I guess, more food for them. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put a little sleigh because of course they're reindeer and they pull the little sleigh and I'm just going to put it to the side there. And then I noticed we had kind of a little gap right here, so I wanted to stick my stool right in there, but first I put down some custom designs before placing it on top, and then I put our snow globe right on top of that adorable little stool. And then to solidify the Christmas vibe, I had to put a huge Christmas tree, <laughs> nice big bright pink one, right there behind the sleigh. 
And then to give some fullness and some vertical height to the back, I put down some trees. And then from here, honestly, it's just kind of up to you what you want to do with the bushes and the flowers and the fences. It really depends on the area that you're putting this in. So mine was really, really close to the beach, as you can see. So I had like this little awkward area to work with. So I just kind of put things, I don't know, just wherever I thought they looked good. Put these little fences, kind of make like a little gate. Added some flowers, sprinkled in some custom designs here and there, and you got yourself a cute little reindeer stall area. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and I think if you follow along to this video, you could build it on your island easy peasy, no problemo. And I also tried to use items that were available to most people. I've had the sleigh DIY for a while. I don't know like why that isn't like a Christmas one. Like why did we already get that? <laughs> but yeah, um, the only thing might be the festive trees, but you can just get those um, in December by popping balloons. So it should be fairly easy for you guys to get those. And even then you don't even really have to use the big festive tree. You could use a normal hardwood tree right there and some of them have the lights on them which would be super super cute so that's kind of like a like a makeshift festive tree you know i also tried digging up the ones that had lights on them and putting them back to see if they would still have the lights and they didn't so is the is the ones that have lights just kind of random i don't know but anyways here's a finished look um yeah Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think it's fairly easy to do. It's not one of my most complex big brain builds, but I think it's cute. I think it's a little cute idea, you know? So if you do end up making this, then I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter, post it in the Discord server, link below. Here are this week's, this video's fan art submissions. Once again, you guys blowing me out of the water, out of the metaphorical water, because I'm sitting in my chair right now, not water. But look at- you guys are so talented, these are all so cute, and we even have our Discord server banner in here. I finally got to that submission, so thank you guys so so much. These are all so great, and they make me so happy. <laughs> and if you would like to submit, there is a Google Form link down below. I hope you enjoyed this quick little build, and I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next one.